Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Today we have great and really loud video. We are going to demonstrate the uh, pressure effect of nuclear bomb. And we are going to uh, try to mimic 300 kiloton device. And of course we didn't get our hands on that. So we have a huge pile of dynamite on end of that pole behind me. And there's 25 kilos. And of course 25 kilos and 300 thousand tons, they're a bit different, but luckily you can use Nukemap and then this uh, handy calculator that I found from the internet and I can match the pressure waves of that nuclear bomb and our dynamite pile. So behind me there is a 8 meter ring, that's 1.75 kilometers, so roughly one mile away from the nuclear device. Then I have four four kilometer ring, that's uh, 15 meters. And then we have a 50 meter ring, that's going to be 10 kilometers from the nuclear device. And we are going to watch from there and tell how it feels. <laughs> Let's go through the targets, what we have here. Uh, this uh, line over here, this is the 1.75 kilometer ring of the uh, nuclear device. And the overpressure at this point is going to be 20 psi, or a bit over four bars. And uh, we put the uh, dynamites on top of the pole to keep the fireball from touching the ground. So the same thing as with the uh, nuclear device. So if you imagine the fireball there, it's almost touching the ground. So it's going to be a huge explosion. And according to <laughs> stuff that I found from the internet, if you are not hit by any shrapnel, you could actually survive here where I stand now. Your eardrums would be like broken and maybe some lung damage, but you could live here. So that's surprising. That's pretty goddamn close. Uh, let's go first here. Uh, we went to local like flea market to uh, find something suitable to test and this magnificent couch group with the table, this was 20 euros, so we put here, this is like kids birthday party. I have no idea what it's doing on our uh, nuclear test range, but party is always nice. Uh, then we have just random door, because breaching doors with nuclear device, why not? Then we have some uh, waste pins, maybe from the previous experiment. Then, uh, this was like my, my idea, I want to have three. Then we have a car and around uh, 20 psi, that's considered heavy blast damage. Most of the buildings will collapse. So I assume also the car is going to take some damage at this point. And then we have also one car here at 15 meters or four kilometers on our nuclear scale. And this is actually uh, Henkka's mom's old car. So, so let's hope that it survives. And then on that direction is our uh, viewing point. We have like small thing on uh, front of us in case some rocks or something flies in that direction. An interesting thing that uh, around 10 kilometers from three 100 kiloton device. The pressure wave isn't that bad, only one psi of overpressure, so not even like broken eardrums. Yeah, but uh, it's going to be loud as hell, that's sure, that's sure. We have also 25 kilos more, so we can do second blast if there's anything to improve on this one. Yeah, but here we go. <laughs> no niin. All right. Kolme, kaksi, yksi. Yksi. Okay, and then the high speeds. Here's the general view. Pretty nice, good blast wave, lot of damage. But check this. We have all the things. That was the flash. And then here comes the pressure wave. That's really nice. Took even out the balloons like nothing. 
and then soon after the pressure wave there is a bit more mayhem coming because the wind blows all kinds of stuff past the cameras and actually there is one camera on the frame the tripod thing you there on the left side there is Sony uh, A6400 and it took the blast no problem you can use those like GoPros and then couple drone shots to finish it off yeah but really nice blast okay that was good blast uh, the feeling at 10 kilometers or 50 meters I would describe that it was like strong but pleasant it, it like doesn't feel bad in any way but it's like good solid thump still and I have to say that this is my absolutely favorite scene of the whole thing the slow motion of the birthday party going wrong that's the best thing and the best thing of the birthday party is the fact that the, <laughs> we, we strip the leaves out from the flower it has to it has to like be pretty uh, hard wind to like strip those out and the scene the slow motion of this it's 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 just it's it's really good and the like uh, our like marking zone around the 8 meter or 1.75 kilometers it's gone and let's move here and then this car again I think this is like pretty close to heavy blast damage described by the nuke map the, all the windows are gone and like these are dented just from pure pressure there isn't any like wooden shrapnel in front of the car and also there is quite heavy damage inside of the car like the dash is open and the back seats those were up when we exploded and now they're down so that's that's like good amount of damage there and then when we are moving further away at uh, four kilometers this was uh, described as like a slight or small blast damage the windows are in but uh, uh, and there is small dents on here this is from shrapnel but like that side windows are still okay and this is interesting because the uh, calculator that I used for the dynamite blast it uh, puts out like pressure here on the like empty air and then it tells pressure against walls so the blast waves hits here and it stops and the pressure goes up and that's why these windows are broken and this is still okay okay I, I have told that there is some kind of surprise okay so I, I was told the surprise is in here here Vittu. Vittu. Okay. This is not cool. What the hell? What the hell? The, the freaking, freaking heater is detached from the wall. I think the wall has uh, probably been like flexing in and throw the heater out. And also probably the roof is like boy -oing 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 -oing, like this and that uh, threw the lights down. Yeah, lights out. Oh, uh -huh. little bit glass on the seat. I think it doesn't matter. Uh. Uh. Okay, here it goes. Will it start? Sounds like the battery is empty. It like clicks and then that doesn't do anything. Kolove! Kaksi! Yksi!
Okay, and then some high speeds. Here is the uh, general shot. Again, really nice. It, it actually looks like mini nuke from Fallout games. And here is the close up thing that we missed last time from the cars. Yeah, really nice. We had to add some ash there on top of the cars to like make it more dramatic. And I think it worked. And again, a lot of wooden shrapnel. And here is even closer and slower. Boom. Yeah. I think it looks like some old nuclear test. It's pretty cool. Okay, round two. Pretty much the same. Maybe even louder. I think I had my air protection somehow badly. But it wasn't like too loud. It was just a bit louder. And the mayhem with the car. Pretty similar. We have side airbags deployed on this side. Uh, I think this looks a bit stronger. At least the steel parts than the Volkswagen. Pretty much the same maybe. The main point with the second explosion was actually just to get the high speed clip from the cars. Because the lights went out from the like the box thing. That stripped the circuit breaker and the high speed camera got really confused when the power went off. So we didn't have that problem this time. So we got also this magnificent thing in the high speed. And yeah, I have to say that I'm really pleased with the results. I think my calculations were spot on. Everything, everything looks like you would expect it to look. And yeah, and if you have some good idea like this, please let us know and we are going to do it. Yeah, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Moi ei. Hello.